Hello everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Gar Saxon from Star Wars. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. All right. Uh, I don't know anything about this guy. Uh, I don't know what he was in. I know he was in Star Wars. I'm just saying uh, Clone Wars, Rebels, I don't know. Uh, it's a request. Basically, that's what it is. It was a request. And so, unfortunately, that also means I don't have a lot on this guy. There is not a lot of detail that I can find photo reference-wise to get the pictures right, to get the detail. So, eh, bear with me. So, sorry if it doesn't come out right. But again, that's we, we get what we get. That's, that's about all I can say. Uh, you know, I, I get the idea... But sometimes, yeah, when people want certain things, if it's not available, I, uh, there's not much I can really do. So I'm just still gonna, you know, play around with it, see what I can do. But, uh, but yeah, for the most part, that's all I got. So hopefully we'll get it right. And you know, I'm, all I really have to do is draw a Mandalorian, and it's gonna be about the coloring. That's that's when it's gonna get uh, uh, iffy. That's the word I'm looking for. Does he have? Yeah, he's got big shoulder pieces. We'll do like that. Um, does he have a backpack? I can't tell. Uh, again, there's not a lot of good pictures that I can tell if there's good backpack pictures. So you get what you get, kids. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Okay, so I was going to do like some flame shooting out, but we, we don't want to fall off the camera, right? So let's see what we can do. And, um, I, I don't know. I just feel like I need to keep uh, explaining. I don't know why. No, I do know why. Because I'm not confident with the place this is coming from. I'm confident with my sketch. Sure, why not? But uh, um, the the accuracy of the details, that's why it shouldn't be that big a deal. But I like to get this right. I like to you know, at least, at least give you some details and stuff like that. But I can't if I don't have details. Does that make sense? And I think that's why I'm not really frustrated, but uh, a little, a little not confident. But hey, you know what? This is an exercise, and I, I like saying a lot of times what what this is. We're learning on this one, you know. And the exercise for this one is: it's not always going to be perfect. It's not always going to be ideal. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to get through it. And we're going to make it work. Oof, that's not right. Oh, there's the other thing. Um, I don't know the the spikes because again, I've got a picture where it's like four. Let's let's do that. Let's just do the four. And then uh, I've got pictures. I guess no. You know what? It, it's when I research this guy, because there's a black series figure that is a what is it called? Like the Mandalorian Sith army or whatever. It keeps giving me that because there's a lot of people guessing that that's who that character is in these Star Wars black series, right? So that's the problem. That's a problem I have is that when I research, I'm getting this that guy that Mandalorian Sith. Uh, armor stuff and it 
that may not be him. You know what I mean? But because people are people are speculating and everybody's got to figure it out, you know, uh, that's what I'm getting when I research. And so, unfortunately, that's what you're getting to. So, you know, I'm just going to do what I can, make it work, and then we will, uh, we will, you know, again, make it work on our own. Does he have a belt? I can't tell. Sorry if I sound frustrated with this. Like I said, I'm just frustrated that I can't, that I'm not confident with it. That's, that's what it comes down to. I wish I was more confident with the drawing. Okay, so for his sides, he does have, again, this is where it gets complicated, right? Like, I get that when you make an animated series, you want to make it simple. You want to make it that for the animation and all this stuff, you don't have to move a lot of things. So a lot of times, they'll attach items to the body, right? It's not free-floating. So the little, oh my god, what are these called? The little side skirt. Someone already told me. Thank you for that, uh, but my brain already forgot it. Um, those on him on the animated series are attached but is that because again because they're they are making it easier to animate or is it really attached see that's that's the problem and that's what I don't know what to do here I, I just I can only go by I guess what the animated version is and attach them so again it's, it's frustration that I want to do it right and I'm stuck with what I can guess on. I hate guessing. I'd rather get it right than, than guess and get it wrong. Does that make sense? Okay, so... I think we're good with the sketch. Uh, let me just add some detail here to his gun. And the gun hand and all that. And there's not much I'm going to add, really, because we're looking at the underside of the gun. Kind of like, uh, what was the other trooper I did like that with the gun up like this? It's that. It's that hand. The gun hand is up. So, I think that's good. I think I'm ready with the sketch. I think we can jump to the sharpie portion. And then the flames I'll do by hand. Um, yeah, so let me erase some of these sketch lines. Um, what I like to do is... First few lines are placement. First few lines get me there. And then as I get more confident, I start pressing harder. So like now, I want to make it disappear because I want the sharpie to stand out and not the pencil lines. So what I do is I start to erase lightly and those confidence lines, they stick around while the sketch lines, they disappear much faster. It's less pressure to erase. And, uh, and that's that's what's going to guide us. We're going to follow our confidence, get rid of our sketchiness, and go from there. I think that's pretty good right there. That's enough gone that I can see where we're going to go. Or it's not going to stand out for the Sharpie, but enough still there that I can see where we're going to go. So, let's go ahead and do it. Let's jump to the Sharpie portion and get going. And welcome all the skippers. Welcome, skippers. Welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but a pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find things that the fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and just dive right in. You, you see what we're doing. You see where we're going. So let's just jump right in with the helmet. I'm just going to draw the front of the mask. The face details, so to speak. And, oh, this is not the, the sharp, the, the fine point. There's two Sharpies I've got here. And I always complained to, to the Sharpie company through my video that these are exactly the same. These are exactly the same. They both say medium or no, they both. Oh, does that one say medium? That does say medium. But look, it says medium is black on black. This one says fine, black on black. That's the only way you can tell the difference. Sharpie, we need to have a talk. All right, so I'm going to draw the details like this and again I usually use this for the details of the face but considering there's no details in the face it's a mask 
it will help to control some of the line width for the details like that of the mask. Okay. Oops, a little bit too low. Raise it up over here. That's okay. See, not a straight line, but I'm okay with that anyway. Um, now again, I talked about this in the sketch. Hopefully I got this right. <laughs> um, let's draw the side over here so I see where we are. And then I can start to draw some of those face lines. Oh, I guess I should go ahead and close it off, huh? Let's go ahead and start, start uh, defining a few points. And I talked about this in the sketch portion of how accurate it's going to be, which is the answer is not. So go there if you have any complaints, any, uh, any arguments about why I'm drawing the way I'm drawing. Please see the complaint department in sketch portion. All right, um, let's see. You get what you get. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna leave it at that. You get what you get right now. Be lucky you got this. Uh, okay. Ooh, my lines are curvy right now. I think I need to eat. I think it's lunchtime. Um, let's see, I'm going to do a curve around the head like that. Ooh, that came out pretty good. Um, okay, so I'm just going to do, okay, so I always draw what's in front first, that way when you draw what's behind, you only have to draw so much, you don't draw every single thing. So I'm going to draw the, the horn. First horn like this, this is in front. And everything else is like behind this, so to speak. Oh, and also if you see me thickening up my lines like this, it's because I like to draw what's in front. I'm sorry. I got all my speeches all mixed up. I'm gonna be jumping to this fine point pretty soon and it's a huge difference in line width. So I'm trying to match what this is gonna do eventually. All right, and so all this, the rest of the horns are behind this curve. So let me see if I can get this right. Yeah, that'll work. It's not perfect, but that's okay. I still try, but I'm okay that it's not. All right, so other horn out here. Again, I'm thickening up my lines, but remember, you don't have to. This is how I draw and you draw how you draw. We'll meet somewhere in between. I'm just explaining to you why I draw how I draw. I think that's good enough for the head, right? I guess. Uh, uh, uh. Um, the rest will be taken care of with color anyway, so I just want to thicken up that line. And let's see how it goes with this and see if I need to thicken anything else up. All right, so this arm's up. This one's shooting a flamethrower. Um, the shoulders are a little bit higher because of the way uh, the arms are pushing them up. I've got them hunched a little bit. So his neck is like that, right? It's, it's inside there and you can only see so much from this angle. I shouldn't even be drawing all these tiny little details on the neck because again, you can only see so much, but I like it better than just a negative space. 
All right, so his armor is going to be like this. Right? I, I don't know. Again, I, I went through this in the uh, in the sketch portion. I'm just guessing at half of this. And let's see. Okay, so yeah, the shoulder is going to be up a little bit like this. Let's go ahead and draw this arm so you see where we are. Um, let's see, I'm going to put the elbow right about there. I come into his little arm gauntlet. And that's going to give him some creases and folds right there. Let me draw some. You know what? And I don't know if he's got the old tubes on the arm like Boba Fett. Again, I did my research. Well, I talked about this in the sketch portion, so I'm not going to bore you. I'm just going to add some kind of mechanical work there. what's on that shoulder leave it like it is and then let color take care of that this has got his gun up and see how thick this compared to those lines that's what I meant by I kind of want to match how it feels you know the thickness of the lines just to match You know, just to match the body. Again, if you're working with pencils, don't worry about that. I just do that for my, for my own sake. All right, so his hand is holding up his gun. So I've got his back of his fist, the base of the gun, and the fingers wrapped around. It's the pinky, ring, middle finger, index finger. Right around the gun trigger. Then the thumb is on top of it. That's all you can really see. And again, it's the underside of the gun. So I say again, like you know what I'm talking about. I was talking about this during the sketch. It's the underside of the gun. So that's all you're going to see anyway. It's like this little triangular or rectangular triangular. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Rectangular shape because of its, it's the underside of the gun. Right at the bottom. The, the least interesting part of the gun. All right. I like it coming back here a little bit more, so I'm gonna separate that. But again, because it's the underside of the gun, that's all we're seeing anyway, so I'm good with that. Okay, so this arm is out. Let me draw some armor here so I can show you what's going on. Um, let's see. Again, not, not very good pictures I can go by. Just guessing. So, bear with me. center part is too small for for uh, that big sharpie and this I'm gonna make into one piece go around like that that'll give me room for uh, his uh, 
his chest plate and and uh, what do you call it? Uh, armor, right? Okay, so I still want to draw more. I still want to draw more to show you where we are. Hang on. Because I got him kind of all bunched over. Right? With the material, I've got it all. He's hunched. So I kind of want to do like that so you can see that it's, it's creased and bent. Maybe I shouldn't have done that line, but yeah, it is what it is now. Okay. And that's going to go to his belt. And that's good for that. Okay. So so let's do this and that's going to go into his belt so you can see him all hunched over. That's kind of the look I was going for. So let's do this shoulder pad over here. Again, raised up a little bit because of the way his arm is. Kind of almost going into his neck, you know. Um, and then his, his uh, uh, bicep into his sleeve into the gauntlet there. So let's work our way back. And you know, they've got those magical shoulder pads that just are glued on, right? Because they just float there. So one thing about some of this does make sense. It's, uh, it's magically glued. But that's, hey, that's Star Wars. That's how it is, right? Okay, so. We're going to do the uh, wrist gauntlet. So he's pretty much doing this. You know, he's got his, his uh, wrist down. Uh, and let's just go ahead and draw his hand. Then I'll add those details. Okay. So I've got his hand down. And this, because it's a, a, a fist, there's not much we really got to do. That's pretty much it, you know. some details here now I, I don't know what this is I can't see it so I'm just gonna kind of do like this I wish I had made that straighter but it is what it is um, but that's what we're gonna we're gonna shoot the flames out of so again there's not a lot I can really do for this hand because it's all bent over and that's all we got to do it, I, honestly it's, it's that simple my hands are really shaky for some reason every single line is all super super blotchy I don't know what's going on maybe it's a paper uh, okay for the flames I just kind of want to do like a quick like right special effects and everything you're welcome you're welcome I'll do that with color, but that's just kind of the light edge I want to make it for a flame, which there is no edge, right? It's fire. Okay, for his belt, I'm going to kind of make this up because, again, I don't have a lot of good pictures. Something like this. Again, I've got him kind of leaned into his, his chest right there, leaned into his belt. And now that that's there, I can kind of show that this armor is pushed into his belt a little bit because of the way he's hunched over. And that's what happens with, with uh, uh, solid objects. They won't hit each other. They have to either go, I'm doing it off screen. They, won't, they, they can't hit each other. They either have to go under or over, you know? And again, I don't know what's going on with his belt. I, I can't find really good pictures. But also, I talked about this in the sketch portion. That's one of those, was it because it's animated? Who knows? So, I'm just gonna stick with kind of an animated version and just stick with that, okay? So here's his, his little leg skirt things. Someone told me the name of them, and thank you. But I forgot.
there's his gun. But again, because it's the top view and because it's holstered, that's all we can see. So I'm not worried about any more details on that. As I draw more details. <laughs> what I meant was that's all we have to do. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing over here. Draw his little leg uh, thing down, but with an empty holster. So I'm just going to raise it up. And then bring it back down. Well, not bring it back down, but I'm saying draw it down here. Because, again, it's, it's emptied. It's in his hand. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and give it an edge like we did over there. Okay, so now, um, oh, and and I guess I guess they're they're held onto his leg, right? These little um, strappy things, these little skirt things. But are they a skirt anymore? Because again, it's now attached to his leg. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna draw his crotch like this. Tuck it in for the, uh, the, the tension on the uh, leg. There's the belt. Give him uh, some kind of knee pad. There's the edge of the leg coming in. Let me add some detail here so it's not just a weird bulky thing. I probably did that knee pad a little bit too big, but that's okay. Yeah, look how, look how way out I did that. That's all right, just don't do yours as much. Okay, again, draw some more pant leg. This way, tuck it in, back out, down to the knee pad. And this is the front view of this gigantic bulky thing. Again, uh, uh, I was gonna say tuck in the leg, but tuck in the pants. And I like to do like where there's straps like that. I want to make sure that it's like it's tight on the leg, right? Because that's what's, what's holding it there. So I do stuff like that just to kind of show that the material is being uh, really. Not pushed, but uh, held tight, and it, so that means it's like, yeah, I guess pushing the material, you know, keeping it nice and bunged. All right, legs and and shoes. So I'm gonna draw pant leg down like this into some kind of armor plated leg piece, and because of that, I'm just gonna do. I don't know, something like this, because again, I don't have a lot of good pictures, and that's what we're going to say it is. Okay, uh, shoe, let's go ahead and do his old, his old trooper shoe. Something like that. Just a little bit wear on the shoe, that's all. I, I'd make a, a big joke about Star Wars. They put a whole bunch of money into this and designing that and making this perfect. And yeah, just put shoes on them. <laughs> you know, they don't don't put a lot of thought into them. <laughs> or maybe it's just me. I just don't research enough, you know? All right, so same thing, but a front view. Coming down like this. All right, let's go ahead and just do the foot and then we'll add the detail. Right. Okay, so a little bit of design work here, something like this. Again, I don't know. We're just gonna say it's the front view of that. And then his shoe. What do we say we did a crease? Or a crease we did a a, uh, a 
soul. That's what we did. So there you go. I said we take care of the rest with color. So that is Gar Saxon, Star Wars. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below, or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own, because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures on how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.